Mustang PEK 3685 back here and I'm doing a special video here now this is of the issues that people were telling me about with thermal throttling okay now just to make it clear here now really important to point this out now this is what I have discovered over my time benchmarking I've done benchmarks out the box I've done benchmarks with custom settings um, on the custom settings if you turbo this laptop you're going to get thermal throttling. Um, if you look here, I'll show you what I mean. Um, now, what I've done here is just to make you aware. I'm just showing you this clear light now. T Rise, um, Rise the Tomb Raider there is running right just now on the left there. Now, what you'll see is the throttling up here and here and there. See it? Just now, it's lighting up there. Throttle, throttle, throttle. Now, what's happening is, is when this laptop, this FX five hundred four GM. Um, is getting overclocked it is causing thermal throttling now you can see the temperatures they are around the 60s and um, we should not be getting throttling at all thermal throttling but obviously what this must be this must be an issue with the inside of the laptop now I'll give you an example here now I'm gonna take off a bit of the details here so the details are not getting shared but if I show you a bit of paper, now what happened was, is I, I spoke to Asus about this um, directly. And I'm wanting to do a video for everyone just to address this, anyone that posts and asks me. Um, I say to anyone, if you're having issues with thermal throttling, contact Asus customer services as soon as possible, immediately. Um, there, there may be issues with this laptop model um, because... Um, if I show you here in this bit of paper, um, a repair was done on the FX504 GM, as you can see at the top of the bit of paper here. And you can see the part that was put in here from the company that did it. It was a thermal assembly. Now, once I've got this back, I received this back this morning um, from um, the company that looked at it for me. It was Let Me Repair UK Limited. Now, that's for where I am. Um, it may be different for yourselves, but that's where I'm from um, now What they told me was as I spoke to them and I said that I ran tests and it's still throttling unfortunately And you can see that it's still doing it. It, it, it does it intermittently at times And then you see it now down in the throttle bit at the bottom right there the screen You'll see the throttles come on and off and what that is going to do is is once you're playing games at times You may get drops you may get frame drop you may get a, a micro freeze which is like a mini freeze and then it will go, it will happen, and then it will go away again. This will not go away, this will stay with his laptop. Um, unfortunately, there is obviously issues with the interior. I don't know what it is exactly, unfortunately. Um, it looks like just the way that they have they have made this, sadly. Um, the, 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 the problem, one of the problems that I think could be the serious issue is the power brick here. Um, now, this was limiting the power that goes to the laptop to originally 15 watt, which is a serious power limit. That is, that will cause serious issues with performance, etc. Now, the power brick there, that I believe was left in one of the BIOS updates where it didn't no longer restrict the power, right? But the, <laughs> the problem here now is though is the throttling is still continuing because if you show, if I show you. Um, they are. You can see it's still throttling on and off constantly here, um, down there. Um, zoom in and you can see for yourself. You can see the throttling going on and off constantly while two meters running there in the background. Um, and unfortunately, it, there must be an issue going on because I have tried everything online. I've said to people, look at the settings, see if you can solve the issue. I've tried to solve the issue. I couldn't. I had to book the repair with Asus. Asus got Let Me Repair UK Limited to do it. Um, they replaced a full thermal assembly inside this and we're still getting thermal throttling so I've had to let the company know that I've bought it from online which I believe was very um, that this is unfortunately thermal throttling and even after the repair it's still doing it and what they're looking to do now is they're looking to book um, a return process and uh, refund me my money back um, from this laptop so what I'm saying to anyone is because is, I've noticed people have commented on it to me and have asked me I'm not being rude when I say it I'm not Asus okay I didn't make this laptop I ran benchmarks on it from the beginning as you'll see in my channel 
um, you could see the performance results yourself. Um, once I started turboing games to see how if improve, pro, uh, performance would improve, unfortunately the issues came along with Throttling. And this laptop is advertised as it can be um, this it can be run up to four gigahertz when turboed. You see Tomb Raider still running here. It's not on pause menu or nothing. It's running in the background. And um, you'll see Lara there with our um, with our glow stick. Um, it is still happening. So I can tell you, I've done a repair process here. I've followed the procedure, and I'm still unfortunately getting issues here. So what I would say to anyone is that is having thermal issues really important get in touch with asus it's up to yourself obviously they made a request that you send this for the pr to see if it resolves it i have done that and unfortunately it is still thermal throttling it has not resolved it and um, they may insist that you do that first of all if so then do it and um, test again like i'm doing here i've got the game open and i'm running throttle stop in the background and it's telling me it's still throttling unfortunately so that's what I would do. I would, if you're having it, I would get it sent away for repair. If you're still getting an issue like I am, you may find that even the repair will not do anything. I think the problem is, is there's something internally going on. Unfortunately, this laptop has got a great CPU and a GPU in it, but sadly, there's something else going on. I don't know if it's still the poor issue or the the, the wattage that's going to this laptop that's causing a thermal throttle, or if it's something inside it that is causing thermal throttling. And as you can see. It is on and off. It is happening quite, and well, I mean, you can see it. It's quite often. It's not even if it's like just a, a femoral throat here and there. It's happening quite often. Like as you can see, it's going on and off. And it's what it does is, is, is if you're moving about, it will affect performance at times, and it is not good. Um, it is not good at all. So yeah. Um. So what I'm looking to do is, is um, Vinny's going to be back in touch with me again um, about this issue. I've spoke to him about it at length. Um, they've apologised and they've said that obviously um, they need to get in touch. They're going to get back in touch with Asus to let them know as well about these issues. Um, if people have bought this laptop and they're having these issues, please follow the process that I did. Um, they may not allow you just to immediately return it unless you're within your, 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 your either your 30-day returns um period if you're in your 30 days return period and you're getting the thermal throttling you need to decide yourself whether you want to try and see if it can be repaired or return it my advice is return this because i have a, a new thermal unit has been putting this and it's still happening as you can see sadly um it's not good it really is not good um such a shame because potential of the i7 um processor cpu and the gpu in this they are a good combination but unfortunately either internals or the power that's come to this laptop is causing severe issues with throttling so i'm going to post this video up to um to you just now and um, if you get any questions let me know i'll be happy to help you but just remember as i said it's really important if you're having these issues you need to contact us as, as soon as possible and say listen i'm having thermal throttling issues with the FX five hundred four GM, um, Asus TUF, um, I've done it. I've went round everything I can do. I've tried all different settings. It's not helping. I've sent it away from the pair now. It's they've repaired the thermal assembly. It's still thermal throttling. So sadly, this looks like it's going to have to be returned now because there's no other way around this. So I just want to give everyone an update here on the FX five hundred four GM. And as I said, if you've got any questions, let me know. Um, but it's really important if you're having these issues because I know that people have posted on my comments saying I'm having issues with frame rate, I'm having issues with thermal. If you're having these issues or you're having drops as well or f mini freezes, it is down to thermal throttling. And if you open up um, Throttle Stop 8.70, which you can download online if you haven't done so already, you can see here it's actively monitoring this game right now because there's the game there, it's running. And it's actively monitoring it. You can see that it's throttling, thermal throttling. So there you go. Yeah, so I'll be back soon with more um, benchmarks for the MSI Trident 3, which is the gaming desktop PC. But with regards to this, it's possibly unlikely I'll be doing any more benchmarks now on this laptop because the, the likelihood is this is going to get the turn, sadly. So thank you for watching, and I'll be back soon. Bye bye.